Welcome to this 15 minute game against Bo Balderson. This, um, um, no, there is no explanation in there about this name. Maybe there is, um, this is some character from a book or something. I again turn out to be completely oblivious <laughs> about it. Okay, the <clears throat> panel variation of the Kaukan. Let's see, knight c6 is the maybe most interesting way to play. But um, black can also play e6 or g6. Okay, bishop g5. Uh, here, as black, I play this funky move knight e4, but don't get that too often played against you. It's not a very well-known line. Okay, well, his e6 move is also perfectly valid. What I'm trying to do is play in a way that maybe I'm able to capture on c4 in one move if he takes. So I don't want to really play bishop d3 or something like that. I try to make um, useful moves and uh, see what black will do. I wonder if b6 is now possible or if the loose knight on c6 is a problem. Yeah, I think c5 should be quite good. After b6. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not quite sure what black should do here. B6, CD5. Well, CD5, ED5 is just a good structure for white. B6 is pointless. Um, so, so c5, knight d5, knight takes d5, and then bishop g5, hmm, yeah, lots of stuff hanging. Yeah, he's taking his time. Not quite sure, maybe, well, what, what, is, what could black do? I mean, besides b6, knight e4 could be a move, trying to exchange a bit also maybe after the trade of <clears throat> trade of bishops you might have the e7 square for your queen which is often a problem in this um, kind of structures that also often arise from the queen's gambit you sometimes have a problem with your queen on d8 it does not really have a good square on the D and C far very often rooks are coming and a good square would be E7 really but uh, there is just always this bishop so there's also a reason why some lines let's say like the, the Lasker variation of the Queen's Gambit it's always um, has a very solid foundation this is knight E4, bishop E7, queen E7 it just um, gives a very nice square for the Queen and uh, knight e4 here is uh, certainly a possibility. He's taking really lots of time, quite um, quite a lot. A move that I maybe would consider here is the move a6. Trying to um, ask white, well, what are you doing? Are you going to move your f1 bishop at some point or not? And let's say a6, bishop d3, and then I take on c4, bishop takes and b5 to get the um, queen side fully developed. It could be, could be an option. 
On a6, I can also consider c5 though. c5 and b4. This would be probably a good reply to specifically a6 as it um, has made it more difficult to attack this advanced pawn chain if the a pawn is moved. But okay, I don't know what he is going to do. a6 is not a very obvious move. Okay, he decided to just take it and then I really now now I actually have managed to take c4 in uh, in one go. Now b6. Hmm, really? <clears throat> Let's consider d5 now or after castles. Hmm. It looks a bit early without castling, really. Yeah, I think I cannot manage without having castled. d5, there is knight a5, probably rendering the whole procedure useless, so i rather retreat this. Yeah, and now it gets interesting. I can, under the right circumstance, play d5, opening up the center to my advantage, or I can play a standard IQP position with Queen, let's say to d3 and bishop to b1, setting up this uh, this battery against h7. Oh, he's telling me hi. Um, it's, it's even possible that I know the guy, but there's a, he's got no name in there, and it's uh, oh, it's a quite interesting account. It's it's an older account can put this in it's an older account like 2007 or something but it's uh, it's very much focused on playing longer time control only a couple of blitz games which are maybe older and then standard and 15 minute abound mm -hmm, interesting it's not a bad thing to do playing those rapid games that um, is certainly um yeah it has a bit more um of uh, pure chess value than uh, than blitz chess but um, you um, need to know, let's say, what you're looking for. Blitz games can also be a quite good um, training tool. And uh, you simply you get more games played, which is uh, simply very helpful. If you want to practice an opening, for example, it's um, certainly helpful to, to play it in like let's say 10 five minute games instead of just three uh, longer games okay he went to d5 hmm going for trades i don't want to take on e7 really this would certainly help black knight c7 blockading d5 firmly but of course he just threatens to uh, to take on g5 hmm. i wonder if i should play a move like h4 or is this totally ridiculous i don't think so let's let's try that try play it a bit more interestingly uh, maybe just h6 yeah hmm. 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 I don't really have a good uh, place to retreat.
Mm, yeah, that, that, okay. I was thinking I wanted to go knight to e5, but I just realized that he can play knight f5 after that. Which is very, very um, solid. Okay. Get the bishop here. Yeah, somehow this knight d5 move was really helpful for black. The straight um, is not really something that um, helps me much. An important point is that at any place black can just go knight to f6. And on f6 it, it covers the h7 square, the mating square, after queen d3. And uh, well, the knight on f6 is just very stable. Yeah, well, black, black is probably doing okay here. He's exchanged a bit, this, uh, this bishop. And... Um, He has good stability and um, and blocking of the of the isolated pawn. Yeah, that's quite okay, really. But what should he do? This is um, very often another matter. You see that okay, I'm probably all right. But what exactly am I? What exactly am I playing? Yeah, yeah, maybe he will just take f3. I don't want that really. Knight e5 maybe, but there's knight c6. Yeah, that's really not great at all. But what else is there? Knight oh, c6. Black is um, just okay. Yeah, we're just chatting, chatting a bit. Um, rook c8, yeah. Of course, he, he didn't uh, need to to play this um, instantly, knight c6. Hmm. Yeah, it's tough here. Yeah? The direct, this direct attack is not uh, leading too much. If I go queen d3, there is even knight f5. Um, is there? <laughs> not sure. Hmm. one I really don't have a good idea here it's it shouldn't be so terrible for white but it's not clear to me how I'm going to play d4 d5 or get uh, get an attack going it just seems very uh, reliable for black knight e d5 or knight c6 I like knight c6 it attacks d4 and I'm not sure if I have anything better than trading and uh, well I don't really want to trade Maybe after knight c6, white can just go back to f3 and uh, asking black if the knight is so well placed there. Maybe. Hmm. It's, it's very slow. Okay. I'm trying to irritate him with rook to g3. <laughs> mm. 
not sure what the point was. Knight b5, I don't know. I don't really think that this was um, a threat. The only reason to play um, a6 really. Uh, maybe he wants to play b5, but this is not helping um, in any way. Yeah, go rook to g3. But there's not much threatened really. Even knight f5 is a move that white, um, uh, that uh, black um, could have played. Okay, or well, rook g3. Yeah. Knight c3, I'm going to take with the pawn and really hope for this kingside attack. I can take with the the rook on c1 though. Arguing that uh, this might help me for the attack. Hmm, just rook c3. Yeah, well, why not? Why not? There are some some ideas in this position. If black plays, for example, knight to e4. I can take it, play queen g4 and win it, and win the game. It's not totally easy. But uh, of course this is an attacking position where I already have traded a bit. It's not a really full force attack. Hmm. That I'm not sure about. What about knight g4? Knight g4 threatens knight takes f6 and knight takes h6. Um, that looks like a problem. Knight takes, queen takes, that's just made on g7. g6 I can take. Hmm. That looks good actually. Maybe he screwed this up with with um, the time getting down, time getting low. The bad thing is that also h6 hangs, not just f6, but also h6. Black cannot play, let's say, queen e7. I'm just going to take h6 and uh, I'm, I'm perfectly all right. Hmm. I don't see a move, actually. <clears throat> Maybe queen d6 was really a bad mistake. It seems like <clears throat> my remaining attacking forces are fine. Oh, I didn't see that move at all. Wow. Mm. <clears throat> it's not the end of the world though I can play a move like queen c2 here yeah? or taking and then queen, queen d3 actually but that's not threatening much Can easily escape from h7. Hmm. Hmm. Not, not sure. <laughs> what can I do here? If I take queen d3, you know, g6, uh, stuff like h5, but it's. Um, you can just move the rook to c8 or something, and then it's not clear what I'm doing. Queen f4, yeah, that's a good defense. Hmm. Can I in some way not take? I mean, what about knight e3, knight e5? Mm, yeah, it gives h4. Just one problem of it. Okay. 
check. It's not very convincing, but I need to play a move. Queen d3, yeah. We can just play rook c8, unfortunately. And h4 is hanging. Is it is it hanging really h4? Probably. Yeah, the problem is that my structure is not 100% healthy. I can easily attack the c3 pawn. Okay. Quite sure if this is threatening anything. I don't think so. But um, yeah, well, h4 was also hanging. And if he goes rook c8, I mean, at the moment c3 is covered. And um, it's not so easy to increase the pressure there. But it's not um, clear at all what I'm going to do. Yeah, rook c8, just playing a um, simple move. What am I doing after that? Not sure. Absolutely not sure. I can play uh, slow strength, strengthening moves. Strengthening moves. Bishop d3, a4, <laughs> this type of stuff. Okay, well, maybe he wants to go rook d5 even. Yeah, not bad, possible. Hmm, okay. Rook d5. Not sure what, what how much if there is much damage done. Uh, maybe there's also e5 with the idea to play rook to d1. Hmm. Possible. I don't know really. It's tough, tough to play. I'm just trying to improve my back rank a bit so that rook d1 is not a constant worry after e5 or something. H4. Rook d5 just. <clears throat> Queen g4, of course, <clears throat> intending bishop e4. Or, even more important, intending rook f3, which would be quite nice. He can try rook to a, uh, yeah, to a5. He can try that. Rook f3 is obviously not working. Hmm. Yeah, that's not good. Really not. Really see a move besides that. <clears throat> I'm fairly active here, but um, I'm just down a pawn. I'm not clear at all how. 
I can uh, continue here. Check. H4 is protected. How to get counter play? No, I don't know. Maybe maybe queen to d5 is a move that black is um, planning to play. Trying to provoke a weakness here. 30 I see some 30 seconds is just far too slow I need to move at least I mean just um, black resigns. To, um, yeah. I was actually thinking of offering a draw, but it's a bit. Uh, this is just bad for white. I mean, just a pawn down, but you need to play some moves at least to to try to 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 to, to, to I mean, increase the speed. I mean, I've, I'm in the situation often enough, but at some point you just need to fire out um, the moves. Yeah, here I'm just a pawn down for for nothing basically. It was uh, it really not a position that promises much, and maybe I played it. the The real problem here actually was this move. It looked attractive, and I, I just I just overlooked Queen F4 completely, and this is um, in fact a big problem. If I don't do that, um, I should be okay. Let's say Queen D2 uh, attacking here. Just uh, attacking with um, with pieces, I should be in in decent shape. Something like that, for example, is just a position to play with um, with um, yeah with at least mutual mutual chances. Computer likes white a lot. Actually, I'm not sure about it, but this is what I should do. I simply I completely really forgot about queen f4 I, I overlooked the move and this is a big problem i cannot also not just go back i mean there is this just hanging check and this is just not really good i mean i played it badly of course but it was it's not a really good position i should probably uh, the computer is is going for this why not here actually yeah, now this kind of stuff is very tricky for a human. I thought rook c8 just to be here. In Check. fact, it Im immediately loses due to bishop e4. Very funny tactic. This is easy. Check. But uh, this is the real deal. Check. And also wins material. Okay, well let's say here, and then maybe Check. something. I don't know something like that. This is probably better, a better version of the game. And um, here, hmm. yeah, the comp suggests this move. Well, this is of course better. Attacking a six. And probably leading to to an equal position, let's say, like this. And this is okay, probably. Yeah. Well, here yeah, I'm just a pawn down. I have I have no way to protect the a pawn. This is um. Check. Yeah, and here you overstep the time yeah you just cover here let's say let's say queen here no. one problem check. is i cannot i cannot just get the pawn back because there's this one check this this check. won't end end too well 
yeah, it's just it's just very bad. Probably probably lost here with good technical play from the black side, but he uh, somewhat frees uh, froze here and just overstepped the time. Um, yeah, maybe maybe I I played this all wrong. Yeah, h4 is probably already not such a brilliant idea. Maybe. Well, black seems to be okay here, really. I mean, this. If you look at this, let's say I take it. Black will take on g5 and. This is simply not leading to anything besides problems. I mean, not really good. Yeah, this. Um, ah, here, knight d5, maybe. Hmm, is this so bad? I can take e7 and take g5, of course. So ah, then ah, then this is what I should do, really. I should have considered that. That's bad. This I should I should have done. And this should be slightly better for white, really. With this bishop being the better piece compared to the passive b7 bishop. Yeah, this was probably a spot in the opening where I lost um, any here when I uh, when I actually decided to take this was the point where I lost all kind of all hope for an advantage okay well good game by black he just um, didn't uh, didn't speed up really to um, to make it uh, time wise all right thanks for watching